Jimmy Burgess. I work in the attendance office for, this is my 15th year. The kids still connect together. I feel like it's safe. It's still a lot of fun. The teachers are really nice and they want the kids to join in all the activities, not just academics, but with dances and rallies. And I know teachers are friends with the kids too on a professional level, which I think is really important. I'm Mrs. Gibson. I teach 11th grade English, which is an American literature survey class. I've been teaching 25 years, and I've taught 15 of them at Folsom High School. I'm so proud to be a teacher at the Home of the Bulldogs. A community activity surrounded it. It just was a special place. Folsom football games, everybody came. We had live Bulldogs. It was a great time. It still is a wonderful school. It's like the light, the sun shines all the time at Folsom High. It's a great place to be. Jeff Carter. I've been teaching drawing and painting for four years now. Um, let's see, this is my third year at Folsom High School. I've really been blessed. This campus is amazing. It's where I went to school, so maybe I've got a little bit of a biased opinion there. I've done observations at a lot of other schools. There's a lot of great schools out there, but there's something about this campus. You know, it's, a, it's just a vibrant place. There's a lot of energy. The main quad, all the kids kind of seem to collect there, and it's just a lot of fun. Phenomenal music program. We've got phenomenal academics here. Uh, we have an annual art show, among the things that are just, you know, it really brings the kids together, and it lets them show off their talents in ways that are just awesome. Karen Ransom, commonly known as Madame, <laughs> and I teach French. I started here in 1990, actually. One student um, emailed me from UC Davis, working with um, Doctors Without Borders, made Sans Sans Frontieres, and is actually working hard with that organization. Things we've studied here in school, they are carrying out to make the world a better place. My name is Melinda Wilson. I teach German uh, levels one through four, and um, I've had the opportunity after 19 years to educate so many kids who have gone on to great things. I just received an email from a student who graduated in 2000, I think he's up there on those plates, and he's working in London this um, coming year for his company. My name is Barbara Bride. Right now I'm currently teaching biology and the advanced placement environmental science. Uh, this is my, I think, 18th year at Folsom High School. I really like uh, that there's a mix of kids and there's a mix of interests. I think we have a really great science program. And I really love it when I get that, that, that student that, you know, is really more focused on music, but they also like science or they're really focused on art and they really like science. And so I feel like what we really have here is a sort of, but a little bit of a renaissance community for kids. And so I think it really gives kids an opportunity to, um, to explore all the, the parts of themselves and kind of get an idea of, well, where, where do I want to go in life? Tamara Mosier. I teach uh, Drama One, Advanced Drama, and U.S. History. Um, I have been teaching at Folsom High School for 14 years. So I have a student who has done two shows on Broadway. Her name is Mara Dobby. She's the class of, I believe, 01. And she um, had, was in the revival of A Course Line. And then she took over the lead role in A Drowsy Chaperone. And so she's actually done two full Broadway perform uh, plays. Uh, so I, we do have students out there that are making a living doing theater. Lori Tice. I teach Health and Family Life, and I teach a class called Life Skills, which is an elective. I have been here since 1991, so it's my 19th year. Award-winning programs with our music. We have, um, you know, a literary magazine. We have art shows. We have a cheerleading program that I was involved in for years that goes to competition and wins. And um, I think we have a variety of electives that, that you know, make it kind of interesting. My name is Sue Hofflander and I came to the high school in 1987. I do remember when um, I first came to Folsom High School, Jill Solberg was so into reestablishing the arts program and wanting to make that a focus of Folsom High School because she knew there were so many talented kids and so she brought Curtis Gazer, our music director up from, I think he was at Cordova High mm -hmm. School, 
and um, she was really behind that music program and that, that had a big influence on the kids as far as wanting to come to Folsom High School. And that's, I think, one reason why the theater is named Jill Solberg Performing Arts Theater here, because she had a, a big influence on all of it, from the music to the drama to the art program. My name is Mark Hallam. I teach history, and I used to teach English and world cultures and government at Folsom. It'll be my 25th year at Folsom High School. My diamond anniversary of teaching at Folsom High School. We have, I think, the greatest community and kids and staff anywhere in the world because there's support for innovation, there's support for creativity, there's support for fun even, uh, but we have rigor. We do it very well in AP test scores and state test scores. If you have a chance to go to Folsom High School, I mean there's just no question about it. You want to come here. I won't talk about any other schools because I'm sure they have their merits, but there's only one Folsom High School.